Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Danielle Daily Show. I am your host, Danielle Watson. I am so glad that you're joining me here live today. I have an update for you. You know, it's funny, it's only Wednesday today, but because of the type of week I had, I'm kind of like, wait a minute, isn't it Friday? I feel like it should be Friday. I feel like it should be time for me to take a couple days off, take a little bit of a break. But no, it is only Wednesday. So if you watched the show on Monday and Tuesday, you know that Monday I was letting you know that there were three things that I was going to be doing that were big, sort of intense things for me. And yesterday was the big day. Yesterday was the day that I had to do all the three things that were new to me and and intense and some of them a little bit anxiety inducing. And so last night at 8 o'clock p.m. I successfully executed all three of the things that I was worried about. So I'm feeling very, very, very proud of myself because I did all three of the things. So if you didn't watch Monday and Tuesday show, here's a little bit of a review of what they were. And they might not seem like things that are a big deal to you, but they were for me. Like inside, those things felt like really big things. And and not only were they big things, but it was three of them all together. So uh, the first thing was I was driving to an area where I had never been to before, and that felt like a big deal for me. And I successfully made it there. I actually made it there on time, and that was awesome. Very proud of myself. The second thing was, was I was going to be part of a live streaming panel for the first time here on Facebook Live. And We did it. Last night, we live streamed for about an hour, and the panel was in celebration of National Single Parents Day. And what we did was we got together a group of ladies. We actually tried to get um, a gentleman in with us, but unfortunately, he was booked with a trial and was unable to join us. But our, our show was about getting yourself and your children through a divorce. So the before, the during, the after, how do you do that? How do you support yourself through it? And then we also had a woman with us, our wonderful host, Jen Martin. She moderated and she is happily married, but she gave the perspective on how as a friend, you can be a support for somebody going through this. Because I know so many of us are are touched by us, whether it's personally or by a family member or a friend. And it was just really great information. So if you didn't catch us live last night at 8 p.m., definitely check out the Danielle Daily page. I will also share the link for the show in the comments for this show after the broadcast is over. So the the third thing that I was doing that was a big, big deal for me, a big anxiety inducer, was that I was responsible for setting up the technology for the live stream. And although that's not a big deal in itself, I mean, obviously we chat here together every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern, but doing it for when other people were going to be involved, when I might actually let other people down if things didn't work properly or if I forgot something or if I somehow messed it up, you know, that felt like a big deal. And it also felt like a big deal that anyone would want me to be responsible for that because let's face it, I'm not, I'm not the first person you'd think of when it comes to technology. But because I do this live show each and every weekday, um, I was the most experienced person when it comes to video, I was the most experienced person when it came to live streaming and setting up the equipment. And I did it. I did it successfully. We started on time. Everything worked throughout the entire show. The sound worked. Um, everything worked smoothly. And I was just so, so, so proud of myself. So that, that is my big update. I'm telling you, it, it definitely feels like um, it should be Friday after going through all that, but it's only Wednesday. So I do have today's note to self for you. Again, if you missed the show, that the a special edition of the Danielle Daily Show last night that we did in celebration of National Single Parents Day, I highly recommend that you give it a watch. It is, on, it is available right now on the Danielle Daily Show page. And like I said, I will post it in the comments once the broadcast has completed today. Julio's here. I'm so glad that you could join me. So last night it went over without a hitch. Everything went well. 
you know, it's funny, all the stress and all the overwhelm that I was feeling, it really wasn't for any reason. Um, everything went smoothly. There was no problems. And I was just super, super excited once it was over that I'd actually done all of those things. And that is what inspired today's note to self. You know, it's funny. It's not always easy for us to celebrate our accomplishments and our wins out loud, right? And that's something that I try really hard to model for you guys is, is not, not that it's hard, but to, to do that, to get over that feeling inside that we shouldn't be tooting our own horn, that we shouldn't be celebrating our wins, that we shouldn't be proud of ourselves for our accomplishments, big and small. I, I think it's important to allow ourselves to celebrate our growth and because I think that by doing that it allows other people to celebrate their own growth as well so I try to model that for you guys here so like I said super super proud of myself that I managed to do all the things that I set out to do and I did them well and so I have today's note to self for you it was inspired by the experience that I, that I had last night so if you're ready to write it down I am ready to read it to you so today's note says celebrate yourself. You've come such a long way. And you can apply this to so many situations in your life. I mean, how many times do you do something that is out of the ordinary or something that's entirely new to you? Or how many times do you just finally maybe adopt a behavior that you've been working on or start a new habit, right? There's there's so many opportunities to celebrate ourselves and to acknowledge ourselves for having grown, right? But there's something in our culture that says, you know, you don't want to get a big head or you don't want to toot your own horn or you don't want to brag about yourself. And, and this isn't about bragging. This isn't about making yourself sound bigger than you are. It's just taking a few moments to acknowledge the, the wonderment of having been a certain way and then having grown into something else. And it's funny because we naturally do this with small children, right? As they're learning every little thing that they need to learn to become grown, we, we just heap words of praise on them. And at some point, that stops. And, and I don't really know why it stops. I'm sure that as an anthropologist, I could probably set up a study and figure out why, <laughs> why we do that. But what I'd rather do is just encourage you to pick up for yourself where society and your family and your friends left off. Just decide that, you know, maybe other people aren't going to speak words of praise over you for every wonderful little thing you do. But why not do that for yourself? Because when you're little, it felt so good, right? It, you were not at risk of, of becoming like some egomaniac. What it did is it, it reinforced the idea and the belief and the knowledge that you are good and that you are growing and that you're progressing and that you're valuable and you're you're part of something and that you're becoming more. And I think that for whatever reason society has for discontinuing that at some age, I think that it's just so useful for us to pick that up for ourselves, to start praising ourselves for every little thing. And, and maybe you're not really comfortable doing it in a public forum or out loud at first, but at least start doing that for yourself. You know, those of you who have read my book, Dear Self, I Love You, Keep Going, that pro project, it's a year long project of just praising myself. And I was in like the most difficult time of my life going through a divorce. It was really, really difficult. But by praising myself every day, I really believe that it helped me to move forward more quickly than I would have if I had not set that habit up of always finding a reason to find myself doing good or to find myself feeling hopeful. I just, I think that is such an important practice and it's one of the reasons that I continue to share notes to self with you every single day here on the Danielle Daily Show. I want you to focus on what is good about you the way that I work to focus what's good about me so that when I go out into the world, I feel like I'm a good and worthy and helpful person. And when I see people who need from me or if I see a situation where I can help, I don't feel like I, I need to hesitate because I'm good. I'm taken care of. I know who I am. I know my value. I have 
figured out that, you know, I'm a worthy being who has something to offer other people. And it's just such an empowering feeling to be in that place where, where you really feel like, you know what? I'm pretty good and I have something to offer that other people will benefit from. And it's just, it's such a wonderful feeling to be able to give from a place of having something to give rather than to give from a place of having something to prove, right? It's a way different. Giving from having something to give and giving from having something to prove are completely different energies. Really think about how that would feel in your body, those, those two different situations. So let me read you the note to self one more time. I highly encourage you to write this one down. You can use it in so many aspects of your life. And I really want to encourage you as well to you know, start, start celebrating yourself, start praising yourself, start saying nice things about yourself even if you're not ready to say them in front of other people maybe start a practice like I did of writing down something each day that you appreciate your about yourself or you think is is pretty good about you okay so here's that new self again it says dear self celebrate yourself you've come such a long way so I'm super proud of myself that you know, I didn't drive on the freeway until I was 20 years old, even though I got my license when I was 16. And now I, I drive myself just about anywhere. You know, I, I still won't drive myself in downtown DC, um, but I'm not the only one. There are plenty of people who think that city, the way it's set up is, is absolutely insane. And I, you know, I gave myself a new experience by being on a panel and cooperating with other people as we were running a show. And I wasn't in charge. That was another thing that, you know, I wasn't, really running the show. I was part of the show. I was cooperating with other people, which is not always, not always an easy thing to let go of control and just trust that everything's going to go well. And then, you know, I've come a long way with technology. I was the point person when it came to setting up how we were going to run the show and all the equipment that was going to go with it and just making sure that, that it was all functional. So super proud of myself for those things. So Oh my gosh, I checked my calendar today and today is the 95th episode of the Danielle Daily Show. I just wanted to call that out because to me that is just mind blowing that we've been together for 95 shows and we'll be coming up on the 100th show before the end of the month and we will be having a celebration and I just wanted to let you know that once we have the 100th show, I'm going to take another little mini vacation. So about every uh, 25 or 50 shows, I take a little mini vacation and I'm going to do that again, but we still have plenty more shows happening this month. Julio says 95, I know, 95 episodes. It's un believable. I never would have thought when I started this uh, Danielle Daily Show project, which it wasn't even called that when I started it, uh, that I would be almost up to 100 shows. You know, if that if that's a weekly show, like most shows are a weekly show rather than a daily show. Wow, that would be two years worth of episodes we'd be coming up on, which I just think is crazy and exciting. And I just really appreciate you guys who have over and over and over join me here live because if I was getting on every day and seeing that nobody was watching, I don't know that I would have been able to keep this up. And by you guys being there and interacting with me, it's caused me to grow so much. It's caused me to develop relationships with some of you. And, you know, sincere affection and appreci appreciation for the, the people that you guys are and for the insight that you offer. Because as I've said so many times on the show, the things that you guys offer in the comments as insights are so much more interesting and valuable than anything I have to say. And so I just want to tell you that I appreciate you so very much for that. So if you're hearing right now some background buzzing noise, it's because the condo below me is still being renovated. It's been pretty quiet most of the day and now, now it's starting to make noise. So I'm going to wrap up the show so that we don't have a lot of banging and buzzing in the background. But Again, thank you so much for joining me. If you didn't catch the special edition of the show last night at 8, you can find the link in the comments. And until tomorrow, I love and appreciate you guys, and I will see you then. Mwah. Bye.